this whole affair is inexcusable. It, it is just, it is a pitiful reflection on the Conservative Parliamentary Party at every level. Um, and it reflects really badly, obviously, on the government of the day. Do you think there's any coming back from this? I don't think so. But I haven't. I, I have to say I've been of that view really since two, two weeks ago. Um, this is an absolute disgrace. As a Tory MP of 17 years who's never been a minister, who's got on with it loyally most of the time, I think it's a shambles and a disgrace. I think it is utterly appalling. So, so you seem quietly... I'm, I'm, I'm livid. And, you know, I really shouldn't say this, but I hope all those people that put Liz Truss in number 10, I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth it for the ministerial red box. I hope it was worth it to sit around the cabinet table because the damage they have done to our party is extraordinary. I'm sorry, it's very difficult to convey. You look just furious about this. I am. I am. I've had enough. I've had enough of talentless people um, putting their tick in the right box, not because it's in the national interest, but because it's in their own personal interest to achieve ministerial position. And I, and I know I speak for hundreds of backbenchers who right now um, are worrying for their constituents all the time, but now worrying about their own personal circumstances because there is nothing as X as an ex MP. And a lot of my colleagues are wondering, as many of their constituents are wondering, how they're going to pay their mortgages if this all comes to an end soon.